Today's Flash Briefing is brought to you by Power Credit Union, proudly serving Southern Colorado. Visit a location today and be empowered. It's Wednesday, July 29th. I'm Ira Cronin. This is a News 5 update. The cases of COVID-19 continue to rise in Colorado. On Tuesday, the state reported nearly 750 new cases, bringing the total to over 45,000 since the pandemic began. Hospitalizations, though, do remain steady. That's a good note. Around 250 people continue to be treated in our hospitals right now. Sadly, COVID-19 has claimed over 1,600 lives in our state. In Pueblo, health officials say they're continuing to see a spike. Also, they say this latest increase has started about two weeks ago and is based on what's happening in surrounding states. They're concerned the worst may be yet to come. I, I haven't really seen a decrease in cases. When I look at the past 14 days, we've had the highest number of cases in the last 14 days as we've had any time um, during, during the, the pandemic. The state's reporting 575 total cases in Pueblo County. There have been more than 4,200 cases of COVID-19 in El Paso County. Let's get a check of your Wednesday forecast now with meteorologist Sam Schreier. So it's going to be pretty warm to hot out there today, kind of depending on where you are. If you're out of the mountains, I think we just call this hot, but it's also going to be windy and it's going to promote dry because the air will dry out and that's going to really limit thunderstorm chances. Temperatures up in the upper 90s or upper 80s, if not 90s, like Pueblo should be in 96, still pretty warm out east. And while today and tomorrow do look primarily dry, there could be some scattered storms in the plains. Chances for Colorado Springs to get rain start to come back a lot better from Friday through the weekend. It's not a great chance of rain over that three to four day stretch, but it is something we have to warn for. There is some rain chance there, but it's an even smaller chance in Pueblo. Thank you for listening to today's News 5 Flash Briefing, sponsored by Power Credit Union.